Hello and welcome back and in this video we are uh, going to be creating uh, this effect uh, it's known as a uh, blur effect or frosted glass effect so uh, we can be creating this uh, sort of a frosted glass uh, container and we can uh, uh, put our uh, content inside that so this is what uh, we're going to be recreating so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I've got uh, last uh, last time's uh, project ready so it's right here if you wanna uh, type it along uh, so go ahead and and type it and then once you're done um, play the video so we're gonna continue uh, from here what we're gonna do is uh, uh, we are going to need a uh, container uh, that's gonna sit uh, inside uh, this uh, scaffold and um, and that container is uh, uh, something where we can apply a uh, image effect uh, now for that image filter uh, for that we need uh, basically access to that filter so uh, that image filter is uh, basically image filters are defined under our dart UI package so you might want to import dart UI before we start it before we get started so go ahead and import that and uh, and then uh, you're gonna start so uh, First thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, uh, define a container and then for child you're going to say center and uh, here we're going to use that filter so first of all, first of all we're going to say backdrop filter that's what we want and uh, inside backdrop backdrop filter I'm gonna take filter property and uh, we can say should be image filter dot blur is what we are looking for uh, we're gonna populate Sigma X value and Sigma Y value and then uh, we're gonna give this a child and child is going to be a container with width 300 height 300 decoration as box decoration so if I say right now uh, you're gonna notice uh, nothing is visible so uh, we're gonna give it a color so we can see our box being displayed or visible so okay. All right. So let's save it one more time. And there we go. As you can see, um, the gray color uh, taking effect. So we want to apply shade to it, and the shade is going to be about four hundred. So it's going to look like that. Now let's add some opacity. And the opacity is going to be 0 0.5 so it's a little bit uh, more see-through all right um, <clears throat> let's see what else can we do I'm gonna add a border radius so border radius circular and um, I'm gonna give like let's say 50 point here there we go that's a uh, nice and round rounded corners okay so uh, moving moving forward um, now uh, one more thing that we want to add into this uh, so we have uh, we have our backdrop and uh, inside that back backdrop um, we've added a border in this so let's create so we already have child for this one uh, let's add a child for container there you go and uh, we're gonna create a center a widget and uh, the center widget is gonna have child called um, with widget text okay um, just gonna say hello in this case uh, for this and uh, we're gonna apply some style text style and uh, gonna use font size 
about 60 points and uh, let's use color white uh, are we oh so color property is I didn't realize that we should be inside here okay there we go so color of the uh, text so yeah so there we go we have our effect uh, ready um, and uh, in place of this you can put like you know whatever you want maybe a profile picture and stuff like that but um, but yeah just uh, this is how you create this uh, blur view effect or frustrate glass uh, effect um, using uh, image filter and the backdrop filter okay so uh, that's it for this video and uh, thanks again for watching